This next guy coming to the stage is very funny. You guys will like him a lot. Give it up for Stephen Kendrick, please, ladies and gentlemen. Stephen Kendrick. Another big round of applause, Stephen Kendrick. Stephen, I still remember the first thing the doctor ever said to you when you were born. Mrs. Kendrick, the abortion was unsuccessful. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense, though. Makes a lot of sense now. I'm getting older, looking back, so I got this weird scar on my forehead. Vagina, it would be the most disgusting thing in the world. It would just be like, eh, 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 Comedy. 
uh, as you can tell by his political joke. <laughs> After you'll be like, you're right, you're not. Uh, this is the first time, I, I never vote, dude, because it's like, first off, I'm either too hungover if I can get out, or I'm still partying and I don't need to be out, or I'm just like, fuck it, I don't need to play make-believe games, you know, I don't care, it doesn't matter. And that became even more apparent when I was told that Bush and Kerry, this is the first time in American history where I had two fraternity brothers running for president. Fucking frat guys are running for president. I don't know how many fraternity parties you have been to. I've been to a few. And not once that I walk in and see some jackass pumping the keg. You know, dude, he should be our leader. <laughs> Chinatown, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever, please give a big round 